Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and today's gospel is from John chapter 2, the story of the wedding feast of Cana. Pope Francis talked about this first miracle of Jesus and about marriage and family life when he visited the South American country of Ecuador. He said, The wedding at Cana is repeated in every generation, in every family, in every one of us, and our efforts to let our hearts find rest in strong love, fruitful love, and joyful love. Let us make room for Mary. Let us journey with her now to Cana. Mary is attentive. She is concerned for the needs of the newlyweds. She is not closed in on herself, worried only about her own little world. Her love makes her outgoing toward others. Wine is a sign of happiness, love, and plenty. How many of our adolescents and young people sense that there is no longer any of that wine to be found in their homes? How many women, sad and lonely, wonder when love left and when it slipped away from their lives? How many elderly people feel left out of family celebrations, cast aside and longing each day for a little love from their sons and daughters, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren? Mary, at the very moment she perceives that there is no wine, approaches Jesus with confidence. This means that Mary prays. She teaches us to put our families in God's hands. She teaches us to pray, to kindle the hope which shows us that our concerns are also God's concerns. Praying always lifts us out of our worries and concerns. It makes us rise above everything that hurts, upsets, or disappoints us and helps us to put ourselves in the place of others in their shoes.